Welcome to Hospitality Property School. This podcast is where savvy hotel, inn, bed and breakfast, and resort owners and managers get their weekly dose of hospitality property tactics and strategies from authorities in the hospitality industry. They will share their decades of experience and help you find success. You are listening to Hospitality Property School with your host, Jerry McPherson. Welcome to another edition of Hospitality Property School. I am your instructor, Jerry McPherson, and today I am excited to announce this is our 100th episode of Hospitality Property School. So we are going to celebrate. Stay until the end and I will tell you how you can be rewarded for being a listener. But before that, I'm going to look at the right survey questions to ask. How well do you know your target market, their pains, their problems, their motivations? Are you marketing your hospitality property online and feel like your message is falling flat? Do people understand what you have to offer? Do you know your target market? Today, I will look at how using surveys the right way can lead to more bookings. I will share the right questions to ask and how to ask them so you'll get the people to actually fill out your survey, the recommended software, and most importantly, how to correctly understand the answers you receive. The hospitality property industry is always developing and surveys are a powerful way to stay on top of your market. In a book by Ryan Levesque called Ask, he talks about the one question survey, which simply suggests the following question. When it comes to blank, what is the number one biggest struggle or frustration you have right now? Your job is to get really specific on the topic when you ask this question. The more specific the phrasing is, the more specific answers you will receive. For example, booking your property, visiting your region, eating in your restaurant. You get the idea. When you give your customers specific instructions for completing the survey question, ask them for as much detail as possible and try to discourage one word answers such as time or money. By having this question by itself on a form or a page, it will have the full attention of the reader. There are follow-up questions that can be used successfully as well. If you ask for the person's name, email and phone number, I would recommend making this optional. The following are examples of six follow-up questions that you can customize to serve as your needs. Question one, have you ever tried blank? If no, why not? Question two, what is the biggest obstacle or struggle that is stopping you from booking? Question three, What are the negative consequences of this struggle? Question four. What is your ideal solution to this problem? Question five. What are the positive consequences and results of solving this problem? And question six. If you had a chance to ask me one question, what would it be? You can use either the one question survey, the six question survey, or a combination of both. There are several software platforms you can use to create surveys, including the free Google Forms. I would also consider checking out SurveyMonkey or SurveyFunnel, which have more functions, as well as the ability to ask more than one question per page. How do you interpret all the survey results? Print them out and read the question each time out loud, followed by the answer. Even better yet, have someone else read them to you. It's important not to judge the responses and to be present to the words. There are those who might not be able to fully convey what they are trying to say with just words, but you can still get a feel of the energy or emotion behind the response. It's not about the quality of the completed surveys received. It's all about the quality of your interpretation and how you are able to use the information in your business. Now, as I had mentioned at the beginning of this podcast, 
This is our 100th episode. To celebrate, we are officially launching the Hospitality Property School Group, and we want you to reap the benefits by helping you grow your property's patronage and profit. So what will you get as a member? Within the group, you'll have the opportunity to ask questions, to share best practices, promote your property, etc. Every week, a video will be posted with updates and answers to the questions. Every week, a new training tutorial will be added to the group covering organizational structure, employee development, marketing, including social media, and how to look at your hospitality property as a guest. We will share monthly interviews with hospitality property specialists on such topics as customer service, property management systems, guest service, website design, marketing, employee development, and much, much more. You will also have easy access to all the Hospitality Property Video Podcast archives, as well as any new video podcasts as they are produced. You will be able to watch the training tutorials, the video podcasts, and listen to the interviews when it fits into your schedule. This will be your group, so we want you to benefit to the fullest. The launch is taking place Friday, June 8th, but we are giving you the opportunity to add your name to a wait list to get early bird notification. By signing up, you'll be notified 24 hours before the official launch and qualify for an incredible deal. You'll also qualify for a chance to become one of the few beta members. This group will transform the way you run your property. Don't miss out. Visit keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com forward slash hpsg hyphen wait hyphen list right now to get your spot on the Hospitality Property School Group wait list and you could qualify to become a beta member. You can also find the link on the show notes at keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com forward slash khdc100. That is it for today's session of Hospitality Property School. As always, we appreciate your comments, and if you have topic ideas, reach out to us. You can do that on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Keystone HDC, on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Keystone HDC, or by email at info at Keystone Hospitality Development.com. As always, let's continue to work together to put more heads in your beds. Until next time, have a fun day. This session of Hospitality Property School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe so as not to miss any hospitality property tactics and strategies that will help you find the success you have always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best content possible. We will see you next time, right here in Hospitality Property School.